When they say the Simpsons can predict the future, they aren't kidding. Roll it. Why don't you go bug your parents? Hey there, I hear it's your birthday. How old are you? Well, I... That's great. Would you like us to sing you a special song? Hell no. You got it. Ready, Senor Beaverati? I'm a Lizzie and the one and the two. You're the birthday. You're the birthday. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, it's been so long since we've done a Willy's Wonderland update, and since you guys continue to ask down below every video, not annoyed, just frustrated, I don't always have Willy's Wonderland news to bring to you guys. Today though, I do. What we're gonna be talking about today is a couple of leaked photos that have landed on line one that shows us a really heavily battle damaged Nicolas Cage, giving us an idea of the carnage we will be seeing in this Willy's Wonderland movie. Along with the writer of Willy's Wonderland, Geo Parsons, answering some fan questions online. One of them being what the actual rating for this movie is that might upset some people or make some people excited. But I'm gonna definitely need your guys' opinions down below. You Willy's Wonderland fans, you get Get screaming in the comment section. Leave your thoughts on today's topics down below and don't forget to smash like on this video. Don't make me threaten you with a Willy's Wonderland dry season. I'll hold back on the news. Don't test me. But I do want to address real quick the intro of my video. Like, damn, I was so surprised whenever that landed online and a bunch of you guys tagged me in it. There really was a Simpsons episode where they go to a place that sounds very similar to Willy's Wonderland. All those memes about Simpsons predicting the future just seem more and more accurate. This is probably also the reason they couldn't call the film Wally's Wonderland. We all were speculating why they changed the name of the film because some of you might know the original title for the film was Wally's Wonderland. Boy, it took me forever to switch to Willy's. And admittedly, in my heart, it'll always be Wally's. It just rolls off the tongue better. Some people pointed out it could have been because of the vacation movies and they had that Wally theme park. So maybe that was the reason they couldn't use the name. But maybe this Simpsons episode and the people over there hold the name to a Wally's pizzeria. So they can't use that name either. Either way, still crazy. And who knows what else the Simpsons are predicting for us today. But okay, before getting to the leaked images of Wally's Wonderland showing a very battle damage Nicolas Cage. Let's go ahead and see some of the things that the writer of this movie has been saying online. You can find both him and the director of this movie, Kevin Lewis, online. They are very nice people and are very gracious to fans. Also, they give a lot of updates on the movie. Like whenever the trailer was delayed because of the pandemic, the director was right on top of that letting fans know. And hey, we are still waiting. As the pandemic never happened, we would have gotten this trailer in July. We would have seen the awesomeness that is Willy's Wonderland and most likely would have had this movie released to us in October. You guys know if you've been following the channel, basically every horror movie in existence except Candyman has left October. And now that we're basically two months away from October, I don't know if Willy's Wonderland is coming out this year, guys. But hey, I think that's a good sign because if they're holding on to this movie till things are back to normal and audiences can pack a theater, that means they think an audience can literally pack this theater, which is a good sign for the quality of this film. But a couple of questions that fans had here online was one person did tag me and the writer in the movie. So thank you very much. Very, very happy to be part of the Willy's Wonderland fan base. And this person went ahead and asked, can you give us any more of the animatronic names and what the age rating of the movie is looking to be? The writer went ahead and responded to fans to the name of the animatronic so this is confirmed i've told you guys this in a previous video but still here we go we have willie the weasel ozzy the ostrich tito the turtle nighty night cammy chameleon Artie the alligator gus gorilla harry cheeks and all and siren sarah specifically though about the rating of the movie he said the age range depends on the final edit pg-13 would be better for a bigger audience my preference slash very possible R is probably more in line with the story I wrote. Now, before you get all upset and start raging down in the comment section, I completely understand and kind of agree with the writer of the movie wanting his film to be PG-13. Now, trust me, I don't think it's gonna be PG-13, especially when I show you the leaked image. That don't look like it'll be some PG-13 movie. But his thinking behind having a PG-13 rating and guaranteeing a larger audience to see this film 
is only good for the movie, especially if we want sequels done to this thing that, come on now, who doesn't want sequels nowadays to great horror movies? Banana Splits, I'm looking at you, man. Your film was cheesy and kind of silly, but hey, I'd want another one. And also, I'm going to be the bearer of bad news, guys. We all know the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is up and coming. Jason Blum has confirmed that it's still in the works. It's moving rapidly forward. Everything is just probably hush-hush because of the pandemic. And yes, it's possible to be a fan of both Five Nights at Freddy's and Willy's Wonderland. No need to fight here. But whenever that Five Nights of Movies does happen, it's gonna be PG-13, y'all. Like, I know y'all are hoping Five Nights of Freddy's to be rated R. And some of you are like, no, no way, Chris. Have you played the games? Have you seen what goes on? No way it can be PG-13. The fan base for Five Nights of Freddy's is very young, man. And there is no way they're gonna exclude that younger fan base for an R rating. Besides, Blumhouse is notorious for turning their horror movies into PG-13 with Fantasy Island, Truth or Dare, but then in my mind, that's also why I would want Willy's Wonderland to be rated R, because this could be the rated R version of Five Nights at Freddy's that we would all want, where it doesn't hold back on the gore, on the carnage of how destructive the film can be, and then eventually we'll get the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that might be a tame version, but at least it'll be the IP you grew up with and the movie you've been waiting basically all your life to see. But okay, enough talking about the details here, let's get to the leaked image that landed online. Now the first person I saw to post this was Willy's Wonderland fan just a cool account that happens to find leaked stuff in the willie's wonderland community but in this photo we have here crew members of the movie but more specifically i want to focus on what nicholas cage is looking like in this picture right here because the boy seems to have gone through some trouble if you made it this far in the video i hope you already know the plot to willie's wonderland but in case you don't it's about a janitor at this amusement park willie's wonderland who spends the night agreeing to clean up the place in exchange for his car to get fixed only to then have all the animatronic puppets of this place come to life and attack him this really seems to be what Nicolas Cage will look like by the end of the movie and like I said looking at this photo how could you tell me this is PG-13 the man is bloodied up scarred up bruises everywhere immediately our eyes go to the three slashes on his stomach which animatronic puppet could have done that there's only a handful that could have probably pulled that off it could have been Willy the weasel but my mind thinks it was probably Tito the turtle if if you zoom in even a little bit closer you can see yeah he's got one scar where he's bleeding on top and the bottom scar he covered up with duct tape that is freaking awesome there's gonna be a scene in the movie where Nicolas Cage is bleeding and he uses duct tape as a bandage like that's the ultimate sign of a badass right there Nicolas Cage you're already one, now you're to the next level. I can't wait to see the one-on-one -on -one battles that Nicolas Cage is gonna be having with all these creatures, especially looking at him before this photo and how clean and spick he looked to what he'll end up looking like by the end. The other photo that leaked online here might not look like much, but it does have some hints to what we'll see in this movie. If you look at the very corner, that seems to be the body of Tito the turtle. That's also why I think he was the one that slashed up Nicolas Cage, because he's got the three claw marks right there. You also have the director there Kevin Lewis probably given some directions on how to make this movie awesome but on the floor there you have one of the cops of the film so it looks like there's gonna be a scene in the movie where the animatronic puppets probably escape and attack some of the police officers that might be coming to aid Nicolas Cage that was one of my worries with the movie is I want a high body count here I don't just want it to be Nicolas Cage and these puppets I would like for people to be showing up here and there we know there's gonna be a group of younger adults who show up to this amusement park who knows for what reason so so there's some body counts right there and now we add in these police officers that we've seen in other photos looks like these puppets have enough bodies to slash around and show us why they're so threatening but that really is just all the willies wonderland news i have for you guys i can't wait to see so much more of this movie the next thing i want to happen is just this trailer man i know you don't know when you're releasing this movie but just give us a little taste 30 10 seconds two seconds you don't know what I'll do for one second. Be sure to leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more movie-related content. Hit that like button. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.